Hello YouTube, what's up? Talamon here. In this video I'm going to test uh, the API overhead feature test that came out today with an update of uh, 3D Mark. Uh, this is a digital recording at 60 frames per second. The recording takes place on an external recorder. So what you will see in this video will be pure performance. I'm using a Core i7-860 running at 4 GHz there we are it has 8 GB of memory and the graphics card is a Radeon 7950 running at 1.1 GHz with the latest catalyst 15.3 beta I have already loaded the benchmark so we do not wait of the pleasantries and I'm starting the benchmark. This was the single threaded uh, test. And this is the multi threaded. Very nice. Let's see our benchmark results. First things first, as you can see, Mantle is crazily faster in draw calls than both DirectX 11 and also I don't know why multi threaded is it's lower. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, let's go to the, to my account in uh, 3D Mark, in Future Mark, and let's do a comparison between my 7950 and my GTX 970 because I want to show you something, guys. GTX 970 and 7950. Compare this, please. Okay. Uh, various stuff, blah blah blah, memory, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Let's see the results. This is the GTX uh, 970 column, okay. And this is the 7950. In the detail scores, we see that there is a tremendous difference between NVIDIA and AMD in DirectX 11. And on the other hand, there is a tremendous uh, difference with mantle of AMD compared with everything else. We have 2,630,000 2, draw calls for NVIDIA and only 650,000 calls for AMD. And the same goes for the other tests. NVIDIA is much faster with uh, DirectX. And uh, I have seen that in my benchmark results. 
and I would like AMD to do something about it. Okay, Mantle is great, but too few games are uh, using Mantle. We need good direct text performance from AMD, and that's final. Thankfully, DirectX 12 will uh, leverage all that. So we are hoping, guys. Let's see uh, some stats from MSI Afterburner. This is the test. These are the two runs. I don't know what this is anyway. And also I don't know why the GPU clock is at 900 megahertz. I thought I had selected 1.1. Weird stuff is going on here my friends. 1.1 MS Afterburner reports 900. Maybe there is something uh, crazy with the driver, who knows anyway, it is what it is and thank you guys for watching, take care